training and I am super excited about the projects that we're going to be doing today. We are going to be making our own seashell stamps. We're going to be using some real seashells. We're also going to be using some of the Dollar Tree faux sand dollars and faux starfish and we're going to be building them on wine corks and then I'm going to show you a bunch of different things that you can do. So it's super fun. Um, there's a ton of different things that you can do. And uh, anyways, if you like this project as we're going along, feel free to sprinkle it to your social media. Feel free to ask questions, all that good stuff. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making our own stamps that are seashells. And um, how did I get this idea? Well, this is one of those ideas that came to me in the middle of the night, <laughs> like usual, when I can't sleep. Um, and it started with the idea of creating some stamps out of lemons. And then I thought, hmm, I have all of these Dollar Tree faux sand dollars and starfish. I wonder if I could use those. And that's where it started. So I've been playing around with this idea all morning. And um, I have a lot of how to's and how not to's to share with you as well. So we're going to be using some Magnolia ink because I want this to be a project that is permanent and that you can wash, that you could make tea towels, t-shirts, tote bags, zippered pouches, um, pillows. There's tons of things that you can do with this idea. So we're going to be using Magnolia ink. And um, let's start at the very beginning. Okay, uh, this morning I made some stamps. <laughs> Just using some wine corks that I had hanging out. And that they do get a little stained, so don't be thinking that you're going to use these, you know, for a pretty um, decoration after. But I made this one, and then I made these two. And what I want to point out to you is that this one is the front of this little starfish. And this one is the underneath. So they look different, okay? And then I made these two. And I have a smaller one. This one. Okay, and what I have discovered is that the flatter the object is that you're going to be stamping with the better. All right, that's one thing. So um, I tried some things like this seashell. Nope, it does not work. I'll show you when I pull out that towel kind of what it does. Um, I also tried using some real sand dollars that I have had hanging out in my seashell box for a million years. And to be honest with you, these did not work great. What worked great were these faux, they're plastic, they're from Dollar Tree in their summer section this year. So, um, but you may be able to find something like this somewhere else as well. The flatter, the better. So let's start with building our stampers. Um, I think to put them on corks is the easiest thing because it would be hard to hold on to it with the, the medium that you're going to put on it and push it into your uh, cloth. So that's what made me think about corks. And I discovered that after doing quite a few stamps, the ones that I used just hot glue on, they were starting to pop off, which is fine. You can just re-glue it. But I decided to do a combination of a little dab of E6000 and some hot glue. And I think that that is going to work better. So we're going to make two more. And let me think. Um, this one, whoops, that's the real one. This one is the underneath of the starfish. So I'm going to make this one with the top and we'll just see how that works okay uh, basically what do you guys think so far do you like this idea I mean, you could take this idea <clears throat> and run a million different directions with it different colors um, all kinds of different things that you could do okay so I these are just wine corks that I picked up at my local Goodwill 
I got a huge bag for $5.99. Um, okay, so I'm going to put a little dab of E6000 in the center, and then I'm going to put some hot glue around the edge of it and be generous. And then I'm just going to push it on my seashell. It doesn't have to be centered. It just gives you something to hang on to, okay? So there's that one. And let's do one more of these. Actually, I have two of these, and I have them going both directions. So let's do another seashell. And um, when you're looking at your seashells, you really do want something that is as flat as possible. This was the best one I had. I don't know if you can see the profile. It's pretty darn flat, and it has all these ridges. Um, these other little ones that I have are not super flat, but we're going to try this one. So I'm going to do the same thing. Put a little blob of E6000 in the center. Just wait until you see how cute these turn out. Oh my goodness. And I, I was kind of thinking about this project a little bit yesterday because I've been struggling with how to finish that burlap table runner. And now I think I know what I will be doing. Okay, so these are extras and I'm just gonna put them aside. And now I have a variety of stampers in all different sizes. Okay, so then the next thing is to decide what colors you want to use. And when I was figuring this out this morning, I grabbed a big tea towel and I just started playing. Um, and these are some of the little stamps that I made using this blue, it's called Berry Blue, ink from Magnolia mixed with a little bit of white. Okay, um, this one right here is that little seashell that I told you didn't work great. It wasn't, it really wasn't flat enough. But you can see what an awesome impression you get and you'll see it even better. But look at this one, that was a really good one. Okay, um, then I thought, hmm, you know, it's almost Memorial Day and soon it will be uh, 4th of July if you're watching this live. So why not do some red and blue? And then I pulled out some turquoise as well, which is called turquoise. <laughs> These are all inks from Magnolia. So what that means is after it's dry, I would just take uh, my iron, set on cotton, no steam, and I would lay a piece of parchment paper over the top of it to protect my iron. And then I would just go over it for three or four minutes on the front, maybe a couple, couple more minutes on the back side of it. And this is usable and washable and dryable and usable again. And I know it's not lovely because this was just what I was learning on um, and this, I think this, this was the real sand dollar and I didn't think it created as good of an impression, that was the real small one, as the, the, um, plastic ones from Dollar Tree. Okay, so this right here is a tea towel. It's a flower sack tea towel. Here's a little lesson. Um, these are great for drying your dishes. They usually come in a square shape. You can find them everywhere. I usually get mine at Walmart in the craft section. Um, they're just a few dollars. The thing about these though is that they seem to always be wonky. <laughs> they're never actually square and they're not very pretty, I don't think, to display. So, I would use a nicer more a thicker, tighter weave cotton tea towel if you want to make this idea. Or I would do a pillow, a canvas covered pillow uh, 
the outside shell. Or I would do a tote bag that could be adorable. A, we could make a table runner out of the burlap that I have or out of painter's drop cloth or out of um, that canvas duck. We could make t-shirts. I mean, we could do a ton of different things. So there are so many possibilities. Okay, so let's actually start playing. And um, these are all my stampers. I have next to me a tub of water that has a sponge in it so I can clean them off. Just dip them in there and wipe them off as I'm going along. I also have a glass plate because this is what we're going to paint off of. And then I have a jar of some water with some brushes. And this is what I made before I came live. You guys, is this adorable or what? And it took me like two minutes. Okay, you could continue embellishing this. You could add smaller seashells, but really I just wanted to show you guys the idea of doing this, I, this project in red and blue. It could be blue and turquoise. It could be turquoise and pink. I mean, it could be whatever colors you want. But if you're going to do this on something that will need to be washed, I probably won't ever wash this, but you want to make sure that you're using the right medium, which is ink from MagnoliaDIY.com. Ink. They have the white caps, not chalk paste. Okay? All right. So the other thing I have for us to do right here is this. And this is this adorable garland. What is it called? Garland banner, and it has 10 flags. These come from MagnoliaDIY.com as well. They're so nice. You get a ton of jute to make tassels with them, but we're not gonna do that today. We're just gonna play with the flags. And we're gonna be doing a beachy theme with these flags. Okay, so that means I'm gonna be doing mostly dark blue and light blue. Um, these things, this set is like eight or nine dollars. And this little pennant thing comes with the wood and the hanger. It's around four dollars, I think. So these are not expensive. They're very nice quality and um, I totally recommend them. All right, another thing I learned as I was practicing is that you need something soft to be stamping on because the, um, the stamps are not completely flat or flush. So this allows you to push down into something soft. And I just have a yucky blue tea towel and a couple of layers of paper towel on top of it. Nothing complicated. All right. So let me scooch this over and Let's create our palette, which I'm going to use this berry blue ink from MagnoliaDIY.com. I'm thinking that I want to do, some, I want to get some good white tea towels. I have a ton of tea towels that I picked up recently, but they're all like printed. Um, so I need to get some good ones because I'm going to make tea towels and I may make some pillows for my couch as well. Okay, so I'm just going to take a little one of these stir sticks and grab some blue ink. It's probably way more than I need. Um, I use this ink all the time. And then I'm going to take another one of those and grab some white because I want to have like a couple different colors of blue. So I'm going to put some of this blue over here with this white and the rest of this blue by itself. I'll pick this up in just a second and show you. I could do turquoise as well, but I'm doing just pretty simple. If you work on a glass plate, then you can literally just wipe it off when you're finished. Um, 
with a wet paper towel and throw that in the garbage. And you could pop this in the dishwasher if you want to. Okay, and then you're gonna need a brush. And um, the, you're gonna use the brush to put the medium on your stampers. And you do, this might sound weird, but you do want it to be just a little bit wet. It, it seems to go on better and look better, in my opinion, if it's a little bit wet. Okay, so I'm gonna do three of these little flags. Make sure I'm on the right side. I may just do two. We'll see. I don't, I'm going to be careful with these other ones because I don't want to mess them up. I don't want to get drips or anything on them. Okay, so let's start with our um, sand dollar from Dollar Tree. If you guys missed the beginning, come back and um, check it out. You can watch this video on replay when I'm not live anymore. I'm mixing my blue and that little bit of white ink here. And it's just a little bit wet. Okay, and I'm just gonna paint it on this. And um, I have found that you want it to be on your little stampers that you make pretty evenly and pretty generously, but no big blobs. Okay. I'm seeing some blobs right here. Okay. And if you feel like you got too much like in the crevices, which I did here, <laughs> you can just kind of pull some of that off and put another layer on. Okay, so now I'm just gonna take this and I'm gonna start with my first little flag, which I'm gonna do um, two stamps on this one. And I'm just gonna push this into my little flag and then I may lift my hand underneath it and just kind of press into that center where there's a little bit of an indent. <gasps> Fabulous! Okay, so I'm going to put this one in my little tub of water on that uh, sponge. And I can see where I did still have a little bit too much of the ink in those holes on that sand dollar. Um, I'm gonna leave that. Let's do, now let's do a dark, and let's use one of the smaller real seashells that I have, like this one. So I'm just gonna pick up some of this berry blue that I did not dilute with white. And I'm painting it on here generously. And I think I'm going to put it like down here towards the bottom. So I'm going to lay it down and kind of rock it a little bit. And then I'm going to reach under and press it into my little banner. So, let me show you what we've got going on so far. I may come back now that I'm looking at it and add some other colors. I don't know. Let's try the next one. What do you guys think? Do you like this idea? Could you imagine yourself doing this, making stamps? Um, and let me just tell you, these little... Uh, starfish and sand dollars they came from my dollar tree which is not a dollar anymore it's a dollar 25 yours probably is too um it's been hit or miss this spring to find them so if yours doesn't have them right now just keep 
checking back or check at a different one or ask the people working there if they know when they might be getting some more inventory and um, just keep checking because one day you go there and there's nothing and then the next day you go and they have a whole new shipment of all kinds of stuff. Okay, so let's do this one dark. And this is the front. So I don't know what this impression is going to look like, but I'm going to be careful not to get too much of my ink in the holes. You can already see. be prepared that you're gonna uh, it's this is a messy project okay so I'm just making sure that everything is covered and let's see how do I want to do it um, let's do it down here so I'm reaching under you might have a better solution for this or maybe you have some sand dollars or seashells that are completely flat. Okay, let's pull it up. Ooh, that looks awesome. Let me show you guys. That is a much better, because I had less ink on it than this one. So I'm looking at this thinking, hmm, I want to play around with a little bit of turquoise also. So let's just mix some of this up. And I'm going to just put it on the same plate. I don't care if it gets slightly mixed in with the blue and the white. Brush. Uh, this is not the best one, but this will work. So it has just a smidge of water on it from my paintbrush in this jar. And let's use one of these guys. Okay, if you're thinking right now that you want to just use acrylic paint uh, or craft paint for this project, um, those do tend to dry kind of crunchy, and I don't know how washable it would be. So if you have ink or can get some of this Magnolia ink, I really do think that that is the better option. Okay, let's kind of double this over. Kind of trying to push from underneath to get it to meet my flag right here. Oh my gosh, this is the cutest one. Oh my goodness, look how cute that is. I do get a little excited. <laughs> I know that about myself. Okay, let's do this one. Um, no, let's do another little one of these guys with this turquoise color. And I'm gonna add it to this other flag. So if you decide that you wanna try this project, I recommend that you practice on something like that yucky tea towel that I showed you uh, to get the feel for it before you start on your actual whatever it is that you wanna make. Because it, this is not hard, but I have figured a few things out as I was going along. Okay. Let's put part of one right here. And this particular seashell that I'm using right here is a little more rounded, so I'm going to have to really... into it. Cute! I 
may come back and do some little polka dots or something, add something else to it. Um, okay, don't let me mess that up. Let's do another one. Let's do this one. Does anybody have questions? Has anybody ever done the lemon idea? This is, I was telling at the start of this video how I got this idea. And basically what it was is I was thinking about doing some tea towels with making stamps out of actual lemons, which I've done that before, but it's been a very long time. And then I started thinking about that table runner that I've been working on. And I also started thinking about these Dollar Tree seashells and wanting to do something with those. And um, then I got up this morning and said, well, I'm going to try and see if it's even a possibility. I feel like I've got something kind of stuck. Okay, so okay, this is what that looks like. I do see some glue strings here. You can see why the um, the handle on here makes it easier to work with than if you didn't have. Uh, <gasps> wow, that's fabulous! And it, maybe it doesn't look fabulous just yet, but it is going to look super fabulous by the time I'm done. Let's do a dark blue um, starfish. I can't decide whether I like the, um, the front or the back of these starfish the best. One of my stampers that I made is the underneath, and this one is the front. And I'm just doing it so it's kind of going off the edge of my little flag. And I'm, it is a little more rounded, so I'm pushing my flag up into it. Awesome. So it needs something else in this other little corner. And let's do another little seashell. So what I'm doing over here, let me see if I can move my camera without knocking it down or something, is I just have my uh, tub of water and I have a sponge in here. And I'm just tapping my seashells on that to kind of pull off the excess paint, which <laughs> this is how I'll clean them when I'm all finished. Okay, so here's my little one. Let's come back to me. Okay, and let's try some of the light blue that I've got mixed over here. And this little one. You could do all your own seashells, um, or you could do like what I'm doing. These are faux seashells. Well, these ones are, this one is real, but the ones from Dollar Tree are plastic. as still as you can possibly get it. Perfect! Okay, 
So I think, <laughs> look at my hands. I think you can see where I'm going with this idea. I do like the combination of different colors. Let me show you the other things that I have made real quick. Um, and if you want links to this um, banner garland or to this little pennant banner, this was like $4 and it's really nice. It has the wood and the string to hold it. Um, this shows you if you want that link, just say link, and I'll give you a link to all the things that I showed today. Um, and you won't have to hunt it down. But this is showing it in the red and blue, which I think I like the best. Um, this is was my practice tea towel that I did. And these were all the different kind of blue tones. And then this was more of me practicing the red and blue. And then this is a combination of the blue and turquoise. So I don't want to mess it up because it's still completely wet. But that is the project I have for you today. I want to know what you think about this idea of making stampers from these Dollar Tree starfish. They're plastic and sand dollars or from real seashells and using cork. So tell me in the comments what you think about this idea. If you have any fabulous ideas of projects that you might do in the future using this idea, tell me that. I want to know. Um, if you want a link, say link. If you like this and you feel like sprinkling it to your Facebook page, that would be awesome. If you have questions, don't hesitate to ask what else. Do it this or this. A thumb or a heart and make sure that you've liked and followed this page if you want to see what I have coming up tomorrow um, and through the weekend and next week. Um, and I'm going to finish this up this afternoon, play some more. I'll get pictures of everything. I'll put them here in the comments. Um, and I hope you, I hope this project really just got your wheels spinning in your mind, those creative juices flowing, and that you can see how easy it would be to make something like this, a pillow, a tea towel, a tote bag, an apron, a table runner, uh, a banner, Anything with fabric that you can see how easy it would be to do this and you could do it in your own colors and your own style. So that's really what I'm hoping this did. And um, I'm going to sit down and read all your comments now. That's my favorite part. I'll answer questions and get links to anyone who wants it. And I will see you guys later. Have a great rest.